Good morning students. How are you all? Hope you are doing good. So today we will start a new chapter that is decimal. So decimal, what can you tell about decimal? A fraction with the denominators 10, 100, 1000 and so on can also be written as a decimal as 1 by 10, 1 by 100 and 1 by 1000. So how can we write as 1 by 10? 0.1 okay 100 we can write as 1 upon 100 as 0 0.01 okay and what about 1 upon 1000 0 0.001 okay three zeros means uh, one and before that two zeros and dot okay means total before three numbers, we have to put the decimal. Here, two zeros. So, total before two numbers, we have to put the decimal. And here, ten. So, before here, ten, one zero. So, before one number, we have to put the decimal. Okay. Hope you have understood this. Now, here, I have taken one example as 0 0.21. Here, the decimal places two because the decimal is before two numbers one and two okay two numbers the decimal is before two numbers now 32.1 here the decimal place is one because decimal is before one number okay now in this case 0 0.204 here three decimal places are there because decimal is is before, uh, is before three numbers okay understood decimal is before three numbers here decimal is before two numbers and here decimal is before one number okay now uh, there is a term like de like decimals now what are like decimals i've taken some example 0 0.02 1.23 21.09 here one thing is common in all is that decimal is before two places okay so decimal is before two numbers here also here also and here also so uh, they are called like decimals because the decimal places is two which is common in all the terms okay now the what are unlike decimals here i take an example 0 0.20 2.109 1 1.2 here decimal place in it is two here decimal place is 3. Here decimal place is 1. So they are unlike decimals because decimal places are different in all the terms. Now if you are told to add these uh, de uh, numbers having decimal places la having like decimal places. Okay. So let's see how we will add this 0 0.02 plus 1.23 plus what then 21.09 one thing you have to put in mind adding the decimal numbers that point should come under the point means if uh, it is 0 0.02 then and the next number is 1.23 so the point should come here after two num before two numbers decimal is there. Here also before two number decimal should be there. And so we have to add in this way. Here third term is 21.09. So we cannot write two here and one here. We have to put the decimals uh, in order. Okay. So 0 0.02 plus 1.23 plus 21.09. Now add. So, uh, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 9, 14, 4, 1, 3, point two, two. So, 22.34, okay? In the same way, we can subtract also. If we are asked to subtract 6.902 minus 2.051, so, in this case, what we have to do, we have to put the value.
values in such order that decimal should come under decimal. So 6.902 minus 2.051. Okay. So 2 minus 1, 1. 10 minus 5, 5. 8 minus 0, 8. And 6 minus 2, 4. So it is 4.851. Okay. So in this way you have to put the decimals. You have to add the numbers which are having decimal places same. Then we have we can subtract also having the decimal places same. And here how we should write if we are given 1, 0, 0 0.1. If 1 upon 100 then 0 0.01. If 1 upon 1000 0 0.001. Okay, if in the same way we are given 4 upon 10, then we can write it 0 0.4. Okay, in the same way if we are given 36 upon 100, then what can we write? 0 0.36. Okay, in the same way if we are asked 1009 upon 1000, then in that case what can we write? 1.009. Okay. Understood? In how, in this way, we have to put the decimal in the number. Hopefully, you have understood uh, the basic concept or the introduction of decimal. Then, we'll continue with the exercise in the next class. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Thank you.